What's up, everybody? Birds in the Trap MMA back at it again. You know, kind of kind of fell off for a little bit. I ran out of video ideas to make, and uh, I still don't have any video ideas. But I'm going to remake one of my first videos, which was about UFC 285, because in my opinion, it's my worst video. And it had such low views that I was like, you know what? I can make it again and get away with it. All right, so here we go. UFC 285, as you all know, is uh, Cyril Gaon versus John Jones and Valentina Shevchenko versus Alexa Grasso. Um, and let's get into it, okay? Now, John Jones versus Cyril Gaon, okay? Ulti I'm just going to say it now, okay? Ultimately, my prediction is gone, okay? It is, but like, I mean, look, you, you can never count out Jones, obviously, because... I mean, I have here in my pros for Jones that he is the potential GOAT, you know? He might even be your GOAT. Mine is GSP, okay? But, you know, he could be there for you. Um, but, I mean, when we look at, like, John Jones' last few performances, which I have here in his cons, you know, you're as good as your last fight. You know what they say? And, uh, you know, he's he just really looks like he's been slowing down. And, um, you know, I think... He, he obviously has better wrestling, and the only way he can win this fight is by wrestling. And I also don't see him getting a finish if he were to win. I think he'll win, like, decision 49-48, maybe. Uh, maybe a little closer than that. It, it, it also depends on the cardio for both of these guys. Because, I mean, Cyril Gaon, you know... Does Cyril Gaon have good cardio? Let me think. Cyril Gaon has alright cardio. I think I'm just kind of overlooking it because of his last uh fight with francis but you know he, he's had a few decision wins he's gone five rounds before so i'm not really too worried about that for him but i mean john jones it also of course john jones obviously can go five rounds but you know a lot of this fight depends on how john looks in there you know what i mean and we're just not gonna know until he's in there uh which sucks because you know I mean, we heard him say he's going to be kind of tubby in there, you know. Is that going to do something to the cardio? We really don't know. But anyways, Cyril Gaon, I thought he was bigger. I thought I, I thought it was, uh, I thought he had a bigger reach or longer reach, I mean, but he doesn't. But I heard that somewhere and I'm like, eh, all right. Uh, what about him? Cyril Gaon. You know, I say here he has crispy ass striking because I believe that. He is surgical with his striking. He picks where he wants to hit you and he hits you there. Um, and he's young and fast, you know? I mean, he's not too much uh, younger than John. John's only 35, which is insane. But, you know, we need to look at, like, their fight mileage, I guess, you know what I mean? John's been doing this for a long time. So, you know, John's got, John is not 35. <laughs> John, John isn't, you know, Cyril Gaon is 31 and he's only 11 and one, you know, only 12 fights. So, you know, he, he definitely has the advantage when it comes to youth, of course. Um, now I'm saying, uh, his fight IQ is a con because like, okay, not against Tai Tuivasa. Okay. But like. Some of his decisions in the Francis fight, like when he was going for the, the what was he going for? Like a heel hook or some, some, some shit. I was just like, mm, okay, you know, like you probably shouldn't put yourself in that position against John Jones, you know? And then the, the, the blaring thing for Cyril is his lack of experience compared to John Jones. John Jones record is 26, one and one no contest, but it should be 28 and no, we all know that. That's 28 fights straight. 20 fights in a row. Um, or 28. I think it's a 20. But Cyril Gaon's record is only 11 and 1, like I just said. You know, so he's only got 12 fights. Now, I know I'm kind of just sounding like Captain Obvious here, but that kind of favors John. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to go that far. Actually, I think I'm done talking about this. Yeah. So my prediction is Cyril Gaon. 49 48 wouldn't be surprised if john gets one but also you know depending on his takedown defense and like how good his striking is i can see uh him getting a finish ko tko 
uh, or yeah, a 49-48 decision, or maybe a 50-45, but I don't think that's likely. I think we're going to see John succeed. Um, and like I said, if John's going to win, it's going to be decision from wrestling. I mean, maybe he could ground and pound him, but eh, maybe not. <laughs> All right, now as far as every other fight on the card, or uh, these are the ones I have a prediction for. But actually, I have the card pulled up to me on the UFC website, and there are a few other ones that I want to talk about. Um, so I'll get those out after I talk about these. Um, first things first, co-main event, Valentina Shevchenko versus Alexa Grasso. Look, I do think that Valentina is gonna lose sooner or later, you know what I mean? Uh, but I don't know if Alexa Grasso is the one to do it, you know what I mean? Um... I feel like if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Aaron Blanchfield. All right. That's what I think. Um, yeah, but, you know, they both they both obviously have good momentum. And obviously, Valentina Shevchenko, one of the best ever. Um, first and only champ of her division. You know what I mean? So, impressive. And she'll probably win it. But like I did say, I do think she will lose sooner or later. All right. Now the next one, uh, I got Jalen Turner uh, against Matush Gamrot. For some reason, Gamrot's picture didn't have his legs, so don't mind that. But um, yeah, you know, I think Gamrot is <sighs> Gamrot is probably a little like better. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like he might be a little smarter in there, maybe. maybe. But um, I just think that Jalen Turner, I mean, th his size advantage, of course, he's, he's way bigger in there. And um, he's been looking good, man. So I think I think he's going to win and I think he's going to knock Gamrod out. You know, they're both they're both southpaw. But I think that when it comes to knockout power, the it, it's definitely in favor of Jalen Turner. I think he's got a piston hand and I think he's. Yeah, he's going to hit him on the chin. And yeah. Uh, anyways, Jeff Neal versus Shavkat Rachmanov. Okay. Now, I'm taking Shavkat, okay, because I think, look, I believe the hype, you know. But I do think if there is anyone to neutralize the hype, it's going to be Jeff Neal. You know what I mean? Because this is Shavkat's first guy who's up there in the ranks, you know. Um, but, yeah, I'm taking Shavkat by submission. Um, I think he's too skilled. I think he is. I think it's just a matter of time until he um, is a top five guy fighting for a title. Um, does he win the title? We got to see more from him. Okay. But yeah, I'm taking him over, over Jeff Neal. All right. Now, Bo Nickel versus Jamie Pickett. <laughs> Bo Nickel's probably going to win. Okay. He's probably going to take him down and win. But I mean, look, Bo Nickel was... He, he seems kind of spoiled to me, all right? He thinks he's the shit because he has some contender series fights. But, I mean, he was saying, like, oh, I don't want to make my debut unless I'm on the main card. Uh, and he got that, you know? He's on the main card. So, since we gave him what he wanted, let's just, you know, let's just hope he loses the fight. <laughs> I don't hate him. I don't hate him, okay? But, like, wouldn't it be funny if he's, like, talking all this shit before he's even, you know, he's talking about how he's going to beat be the champ and shit and then you just can't even beat jamie pickett but i mean the reality is bo nickel will, will probably win that but i'm picking jamie okay because i want i want to see the upset <laughs> okay Derek brunson versus dracus duplessis all right i'm taking dracus because uh you know obviously the momentum is in his favor and um you know i think at this point in time he's i think we haven't seen the best of him yet you know what i mean and i think Derek brunson is on the decline, you know, and he hasn't fought in a while, you know, Drykus just fought, he's, he has a very quick turnaround, but, um, yeah, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking Drykus. Do I know how? No. <laughs> probably, probably decision, but, I mean, it can be anything. We gotta see if Derek's chin is still there after Jared cracked it. Um, but anyways, just a few other thoughts I have on this card. Uh, I'm excited to see Cody Garbrandt fight again. I'm also really nervous to see Cody Garbrandt fight again. <laughs> um, because, yeah, man, he is... Look, I have his record right here. One, two, three, one, 
He was one in five. All right, that's kind of ass. That's very ass. So I hope he wins because you know he's a likable guy. I like him, or I don't like him, but I think he's tolerable, and I want to see him win. You know, he was a former champ. You know, he looked like he looked like the best of all time when he beat Dominic Cruz, and it just sucks that you know he hasn't ever performed like that since. So, you know, I'm hoping to see a good performance from him, but he's probably going to find a way to fuck it up, just like Darren Till against Strikers. You know, he's going to find a way to fuck it up. Um, so, yeah, Trevin Jones will probably win, but I'd like to see Cody Garbrandt win, uh, probably by decision. Uh, yeah, probably by decision. And um, let's see, what else is here? Ian Gary's on this card. You know, I'm excited to see him. I don't know who he's fighting, though. Song Kennen. Um, but yeah, Ian Gary. Pretty cool, likable guy. Um, this card is stacked. I'm really excited to see it. I'll, I'll get back to you guys after the fights are all done. And we'll talk about it and react. And we'll see if I was right. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty confident in these picks. Okay? Except for, <laughs> except for the Bo Nickel and Jamie Pickett one. Okay? Um... Also, the Jalen Turner and Gamrot fight, you know, that is one that I can see going either way. But but no one wants to hear that shit, so Jalen Turner. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. I'm sorry for the inconsistency, but I'm uploading this one today. I'm going to upload my thoughts on 285. That'll probably be my next video, unless I make something tomorrow. But I don't know what to make tomorrow, so we'll see. All right, thanks, everyone. Bye.